I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question on rate of change. The question here is a spherical balloon is being inflated at the rate of 10 meter cube per minute. Find the rate at which the radius is increasing when radius is 5 meters and b is when volume is 36 pi meter cube. Now in such questions you should know the formulas. Now what is the volume of a sphere? So let's write down the formula here. Volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube, right? So that's the volume of the sphere. <coughs> we are given in this particular question dv dt is equal to 10 meter cube per minute. And what we need to find is rate of change of radius. We need to find dr dt for two different conditions. A is when radius is 5 meters and B is when volume is 36 pi meter cube, right? So let's do this one by one. So part A, we want to find dr dt when radius is equal to 5. So let's begin with the formula which is volume is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube. Differentiating with respect to time, that is dv dt equals to, so if you differentiate with respect to time, you get 4 over 3 pi, which is a constant. Applying the power rule, we get 3 r square dr dt, correct? So differentiating both sides with <coughs> time. Now you could simplify this expression and rewrite in terms of dr dt. So we get dr dt equals to 4 pi r square comes in the denominator. So it is 1 over 4 pi r square times dv dt. Now this formula can be used for part b also, right? So let me also write here that we have dr dt as equals to 1 over 4 pi r square times dv dt, right? However, the conditions are different. In the first case, r is 5. So you can substitute r equals to 5 and find the answer. So when r equals to 5, what is the answer? So if I substitute 5 here, I get 1 over uh, <clears throat> dv dt is given to us as 10 meter cube. So this is 10, right? So 1 over 4 pi r is 5. So let me write this as 5 square, correct? Times dv dt is 10, times 10, right? Now you could simplify this. This is 25. <clears throat> and, uh, okay, let me just squeeze in the solution uh, right there. I know we're running out of space here. Let me just push the page a bit. So uh, 25 times 4 is 100. So we get this as equals to 1 over 10 pi, right? So we get 1 over 10 pi and the units will be meters square per minute, right? That is for, sorry, meters per minute since we are talking about the radius, right? So that is how you can do it. So for the first one, the units, the answer is 1 over 10 pi meters per minute. Now let's do the second part. When volume is 36 meter cube, now in this formula we need what R is. So let's find what is R when volume is 36 meter cube. So the formula is volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube. So we can write this as 36 pi equals to 4 by 3 pi r cube, right? So now we can calculate what r is. So r cube is equals to 36 times 3 divided by 4 is r cube, correct? So that gives you 9 times 3 equals to r cube or r is equals to, this is 27 cube root, right? 27 cube root. So we get r as equals to 3. So let's substitute r as 3 here. So we get dr dt 
equals to 1 over 4 pi 3 square times dv dt is given to us as 10 right so <clears throat> you can cancel 4 and 10 5 times and 2 times so get 5 over 9 times 2 is 18 18 pi and the units are meters per minute so that becomes your result so in part b you have to calculate what is the radius when volume is 36 pi meter cube using the formula itself i hope that helps you to understand the concept thank you and all the best